హలో ఎవరీ వన్ యు ఆర్ ఆల్ వెల్కమ్ టు లెక్చర్ నెంబర్ వన్ థౌజండ్ అండ్ థర్టీ టూ అండ్ టుడేస్ టాపిక్ ఈస్ ఇన్ కంటిన్యూవేషన్ ఆఫ్ ఇండస్ట్రియల్ మ్యానుఫ్యాక్చర్ ఆఫ్ పర్ఫ్యూమ్ పార్ట్ సిక్స్ అండ్ ఐ హ్యావ్ ఆల్రెడీ డిస్కస్డ్ అ లాట్ ఆఫ్ కెమికల్ కంపౌండ్స్ విచ్ ఆర్ used in the manufacture of different type of perfumes and these uh, fragrance compounds either they are isolated from plant sources or synthesized and all the industries globally they are around these chemicals what i am uh, discussing and today i am going to discuss about the citrus flavor from the plant source that is selimonene it can be isolated from the peels of the uh, orange lemon and in borno state there is no reason why i cannot see four five steam distillation plant to isolate limonene or citrus flavor that is essential oil from the peels of the oranges because lot of uh, peels i have seen in maiduguri that they are just removing the peels and it is thrown like a waste and the same peels once it is collected and it is subjected to steam distillation we can get very costly essential oil and that is used in uh, citrus uh, perfume manufacture and if you remember in the beginning i have already told you that the mother of all perfume is started from citrus family our ancestors and other they were only manufacturing uh, this uh, citrus perfume means uh, label like uh, fragrance orange like fragrance even today this is one of the most important ingredient for air freshener in car in room and even in perfume and in maiduguri borno state in northern nigeria millions of tons of citrus fruits are produced i don't know about other part of the northern nigeria but i know in borno state we don't have any simple it is not rocket science very simple steam distillation plant where just we need one big pot or kettle put the condenser and you can put one ton of peel collected uh, from the maiduguri every corner of the maiduguri where fruit sellers are there bring it one ton two ton 10 quintal 20 bags put in that big pot and just uh, heat it and with water and it will boil and with along with the steam the volatile oil that is uh, limonene geraniol and some other mixture of terpene will go along with the steam and it will be collected at the end point and the two layers will be there water layer and oil layer remove the water layer not remove that water layer also can be used as a flavored water now in western countries it is getting lot of popularity the uh, lemon flavored uh, water orange flavored water apple flavored water now they have developed the new taste before it was mineral water and the third generation they were using only distilled water safe drinking water then it came to mineral water now today it is flavored water and people with the help of steam distillation plant they are earning a lot of money so unless our youth nigeria is very young country we have more than 80 million young population of nigeria they should be skilled they should be involved in such type of indian production and we don't need any market here everything is distilled online just check that you have 1 liter 2 liter 10 liter of uh, limonene geraniol citron you will get the people to buy so it is my request that 
let uh, the chemistry graduate students and it does, doesn't need much chemistry only graduation is enough that's why today i went since last one week i am not discussing the academic approach of uh, terpene that i am discussing when i am delivering lecture for uh, masters and undergraduate students here purely industrial i am not this industrial lot of industrial trick i am teaching this after this part i am going to teach the industrial trick how to exactly manufacture what should be the ratio of all these components so here uh, the number 6 one it is called geraniol and this geraniol is having molecular formula c10 h18 o <coughs> is all uh, terpenoid nucleus terpenoid nucleus when i have already told you that this is the first isoprene isoprene this isoprene units that is your c5 h8 a is uh, joining in helen tel fischer and different type of uh, long chain cyclic monocyclic bicyclic terpenes are given where the unit is c5 h that, that, that is a c5 h8 that is isoprene uh, unit so here a uh, geraniol is a menu monoterpene and an alcohol it is the main component of citronellol iron iron is the uh, primary component of rose oil so in rose oil rose oil is rose essential oil is very costly perfume compound and the main component in rose oil that is your geraniol terpene ah uh, oil sometimes it is light yellow in color which is sold in commercial market so once you are going to buy for example uh, this uh, geraniol it will be slightly yellowish in color it doesn't matter because in commercial quantity sometimes they are not taking care of its oxidation and because of atmospheric oxygen and water vapor it can be turned into slightly yellowish color but it is pure no problem so that is uh, available in commercial market uh, it is soluble in organic solvents like ethyl alcohol and petroleum ether uh, it is used in perfume industry to develop rose fragrance and this is the geraniol oil number 7 limonene c10 h16 this is the uh, formula of limonene it is made up of two unit of terpene if i remove this is uh, here this is one unit of isoprene this is other unit so when this combines two unit of that isoprene it will be your uh, limonene is a class of terpene compound uh, it is colorless liquid is cyclic monoterpene and is major component of citrus fruit peels and citrus fruit peels so i feel very sorry in madhubari I, i can say at least hundreds of bags are just thrown as a waste by i mean on road or side by road just it is rotten it can be converted and we can isolate limonene very costly citrus uh, oil from this uh, orange or lemon uh, peel peel and it is mainly used in perfume industries as a fragrance of orange or lemon and this uh, limonene uh, i have already told you is a very important component of air freshener the car freshener and so many uh, skin care products personal care products this limonene is added to give the flavor of orange or sit i mean lemon that is called citrus number 8 polycentral the name poly means many that's why the name polycentral is there and it is your actually sandalwood oil the costliest in the world like sandalwood or wood so this sandalwood is mainly the it is produced the best quality in india and 
I can say 90% of sandalwood iron is manufactured in India and it is exported to all part of the world. In the beginning, I have already told you that essential iron, isolation, technique, trick, it, it started some 7,000 years ago in India. That started from Agar and the world is given Agarbati. Then it came the sandalwood. Then it came wood and some other uh, essential oils from the flowers. So sandalwood is one of the very traditional essential oil of India. And nowadays it is occupying very, very uh, luxurious position in the world. Anybody who is putting this oil, like, first thing is very expensive. If it is pure sandalwood oil, we cannot afford. In most of the cases, once they claim that it is 100% sandalwood oil, I disagree as a chemist because at least 30-40% filling material is there with their sandalwood oil. They cannot afford all the manufacturers to recover their money by selling 100% sandalwood oil. And this sandalwood oil, the beauty is that it has the resonance of aroma. Sometimes it will smell like rose, sometimes it will give flowery smell. Sometimes it will give woody smell. So it's the complex of very, very beautiful fragrance. That's why it is called polycentral. Uh, so uh, it is used extensively for its woody uh, floral scent. And it pairs well with other wood or uh, floral scents, such as violet, rose, clove. Clove means lavan in Indian language. That flowery type of small, I mean this kulo, if I draw the diagram, it will be like this. Like this. It is widely used in North Nigeria when they are preparing the shai or tea. That is, it's a very, very important uh, spicy uh, fragrance. And I have already told you the the king of all spicy fragrance is black pepper. And the black pepper oil is also one of the costliest essential oil in the world. And that is rose clo. That is why it is called polycentral. There are some synthetic substitute available in the market. We have synthetic. Actually, that's why I told you that in many cases, nowadays people are using synthetic uh, sandalwood oil. In most of the cases, but once it is original, definitely it will stay for weeks, for week. Even if you are cleaning your uh, cloth, it will still stay. And that is a from synthetic uh, approach you can get very common and widely used. That is called Ibanol. Then Sandaloxol and the third one is uh, Butanol. But my recommendation, if you are going to any uh, aromatic uh, shop where they are selling aroma of fragrance, synthetic as well as natural, you go for uh, Ibanol because Ibanol is uh, having 99% match of the natural uh, sandalwood iron. <coughs> So here, uh, I have already discussed eight most important and that I can say all the perfume industries are running on those fragrance chemicals either by uh, isolating from plant sources or synthesized. All industries are based on these eight fragrance compounds. Now, I have already told you that perfume is a solution which comprises of solvent and solute. So, I am again going to give some more uh, 
I can say knowledge about the solvents. Generally, the perfumers in perfume industry they call it uh, perfumers alcohol. It's very common term. If you go to any perfume industry, if you ask the solvent, it is written on bottle perfumers alcohol. And in bracket, it is written denatured. It's all same ethyl alcohol, C2S5OH, ethanol. The only thing is that how it becomes perfumers alcohol just by addition of some toxic poisonous material, maybe methanol or some other copper uh, salts. Sometimes it is slightly bluish in color, sometimes cloudy in colors. So some other toxic materials are either so that the people cannot use or cannot uh, consume as a alcoholic beverages. That's why it is called perfumers alcohol. Uh, it is a special uh, formulation which can be used by both prof professionals and uh, uh, beginners uh, who wish to manufacture perfume. It allows the simple addition and blending of essential oils and synthetic chemical fragrances to produce perfume solution which is called perfume and that is number one these three are the uh, solvents widely used in perfume industry first is called ethanol that is denatured ethyl alcohol which is the main carrier for the essential oil uh, as a solvent this evaporates quickly as it is Warm by skin temperature, releasing the fragrance over the surface of skin. That's why ethyl alcohol is very popular and in 95-98% industries in any form, ethyl alcohol is used as a solvent. Because the beauty of ethyl alcohol is that the moment it will it is applied on the skin, and that skin temperature is enough to uh, evaporate and with that evaporation the fragrance they are also uh, all the time they will go along with that so that you will get a resonating uh, smell of perfume that's why it is popular number two is that is isopropyl uh, maristate the isopropyl maristate it is used in the preparation of the perfume where good absorption is desired where you it is not highly soluble some of the essential oils that you are using that is isopropyl mustard the third one is that monopropylene glycol this all oil means they are an alcoholic form uh, it uh, helps the essential or fragrance synthetic chemical compounds to be solubilized in ethyl alcohol as a carrier so these are all three solvents and you might have uh, noticed on some of the uh, perfume bottles it is written alcohol free actually alcohol is having broad meaning anywhere where there is oil they call it alcohol and i have already delivered one lecture on alcoholic beverages and haram islam values so See, other substitutes, they may be like alcohol, but the name will not be ethyl alcohol, just like it will be monopropyl glycol. So, monopropyl glycol or the isopropyl mustard, they are uh, from the family of alcohol or butanol, the long chain carbon, uh, propanol. They are al alcoholic uh, in nature, but they are not ethyl alcohol. And they will use such type of substitutes. And they will say it is alcohol free. So in that case, that is how they are using. So with this, I will stop. Thank you very much for watching the lecture. So this is how I have done a lot to give the basic concept for those beginners or even those who are in uh, perfume manufacturing business or perfume creation businesses.
is going to help a lot. Now in the next lecture, I'm going to start the real industrial trick, how to create different type of uh, perfumes, like sandalwood perfume, wood perfume, rose perfume, and some international uh, branded perfumes. And I will give their formulation and ratio. Once again, thank you very much.